Hey everyone, meteorologist Carly Cassidy. Today is Wednesday and I'm starting or planning to do these little weather videos each week, hence the name, Weather Wednesday. Very creative, I know. But with everything that's going on, I know we've all been inside for quite some time. We're probably pretty bored or already past that and have already probably watched a lot of Netflix. So thought this could offer just a little bit of a break to that, maybe entertain the kids for a few minutes and also possibly learn something new. So my idea is to share with you from a little bit from one of my favorite weather books. It's called Weather Wise. It's by Paul Yeager. Um, a little weather history from the week we're in. And then I also did create a crossword puzzle, weather themed, of course. So there's a link to that. You can download it, print it, do that at home. Only thing, the answer key is at the end. So no cheating. All right, this week we have had isolated storms each and every afternoon. So I thought it'd be pretty fitting to start off our weather Wednesdays by talking about convection today. Convection is typically what is used to describe the process that produces thunderstorms. Convection is the vertical transport of heat and moisture in the atmosphere. Hot air rises, cold air sinks. During this process, unbalanced heating gets redistributed, which creates air currents. This is why you can see some of those puffy cumulus clouds grow taller and taller. Some of those clouds become thunderstorms by this process, but convection does not always produce thunderstorms. If the atmosphere is too dry, then it's dry convection, like Phoenix in June. The atmosphere is always trying to reach equilibrium or be balanced, and this is just one of the atmosphere's processes for attempting that. An imbalance of heat can come from more sun exposure in some areas compared to others. Water warming, cooling, more slowly than land, a blacktop parking lot is obviously much warmer on a sunny day compared to the grass that's next to it. In a convection oven, a fan is used to obviously help out with this process, so your cookies, brownies, cakes, whatever you're making, comes out all nice and evenly baked. Now in our skies, the atmosphere, it's a natural process, so not everything is perfectly baked each time. But this is also what keeps the weather interesting and going across the world. Some of the isolated storms we had earlier this week had some very strong and gusty winds but it does not compare to this. Back on Tuesday, April 7th, 1988, so yesterday, 32 years ago, Grandfather Mountain had a wind gust of 172 miles per hour. That's above category five strength hurricane. Also on April 7th, but in 2010 this time, Grandfather Mountain hit 80 degrees, making it the warmest temperature ever measured in April. This time on April 12th, but also back in 1988 again, there was a heavy snowstorm which covered the Southern Appalachians. Mount Mitchell got up to 17 inches of snow and Flat Top Mountain gusted up to 80 miles per hour. For this April 12th, nothing to that extent, but we are looking for your Easter Sunday to stay on the cooler side, low 60s and some scattered showers. We do have one more day for some isolated storms in the afternoon. And now we know all about the process that helps to create them. Stay safe, healthy, inside, and see you for the next Weather Wednesday.